So I'll set the scene for you. There I was last night, just gaming away, as I usually do, just doing a little bit of MX bikes and doing some rain practice specifically. And then almost jump out of my skin because I get a very, very loud Steam notification saying that MX vs ATV Legends has installed. I don't remember telling it to install, but I thought, you know what? Let's have a look, see what updates there's been recently. And it, it seems like there's been quite a few of them. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to try and play the game again. I'm not going to go out of my way to buy a bunch of DLC that I probably am never, ever going to play. What I'm going to do is get the mouse up behind my face cam so you can't see it the entire time. Um, because it would just be a waste of money at the end of the day if I was to do that. So I'm going to ride around a little bit by myself here. I'm going to familiarise myself with the controls. And I'm going to see if they've managed to change the game much from last time I played. Just to make it a bit more enjoyable for someone like me. Because I feel like last time I played this, my biggest complaints were the momentum that you carried in like Supercross was abysmal. Like you'd case a jump or and you just you wouldn't go anywhere at all. Um it didn't feel like the wheels were particularly on the ground. It felt like you was always constantly floating, you never felt attached. Um and I can't remember much more else than that. So Give me a few minutes, let me learn the ropes again, and then I'll uh, I'll come back and we'll probably do some racing. See if there's anything online, maybe, as well. For all of you passionate gamers, you can now get 20% off all G Fuel products worldwide by using code LINS at checkout. And for any of you motorheads looking for some new drip or apparel, use code MXPR underscore LINS15, fxrracing.eu, to get 15% off. All links and codes are in the description down below. Enjoy the video and drop a cheeky little like and subscribe. So it looks like they've got an entire, I guess, menu slash UI overhaul in here, which is really, really nice. And you can actually go through and like properly customise your settings now, which I'm aware was quite lacking previously. It did default me onto single stick steering, so I couldn't work out why I wasn't able to lean my rider, but I have changed that now. And uh, just going through all this, like, this is a lot cleaner than I remember it being. Getting some frame issues here and there, a little bit stuttery from time to time, but overall it actually seems all right. Now, I'm just having a quick look through, because if I remember correctly, no, I do not own all of the upgrades. Oh, do I? No, I do. I do own all the upgrades for these bikes. Okay. I'm going to go through real quick and just upgrade my bike as well to make sure she's performing to the best of her abilities. And uh, then I think we're going to get a little bit of racing going on. And this is also another huge W. Not to mention how good that tear-off looked when I just pulled it, is in first person, I can actually go through the, the effort and the extent of like increasing my FOV, decreasing my FOV, and just making stuff kind of more custom fit to my own ability, like I can increase and decrease the pitch and stuff. So you can just see a lot a lot more than you're used to seeing, which I think is really, really nice, because I think that's one of my complaints before, is the lack of, I guess, customization. And looking at this, first person doesn't feel too bad at all, if I'm being completely honest. Like, much, much better than I remember it being. And I will say that the game, it. I feel like this has always been the case anyway, but the game looks really, really nice. Uh, I did discover, so I'm on this Suzuki 450 right now. I do not have a fully upgraded Suzuki. Um, my most fully upgraded bike is a 250, and I kind of want to ride the 450 today. I can't put my finger on why, I just think it'll be good fun. Um, but yeah, and I mean, so far, this is definitely a lot more promising than it was for me. Like, a lot better than I thought it was. Unfortunately, I don't really want to sit here for hours grinding away trying to get some, uh, I guess, like in-game credits, like the M points, whatever that's worth, um, because I've got 58 right now, and obviously you need a couple thousand per upgrade. Uh, so we're going to rock things as they are. I'm going to see how it goes, and I'm a little bit more hopeful right now than I than I was previously. Whipping in first person, not an easy thing for me. I'm a bit of an ill gamer. And one other thing that some of you will probably be able to help me with is... don't want to do that. Where's my normal... Let's do, let's do this, is I turned something on in the settings, which was called uh, Reflex Gyro, and can you have it on or off? Guessing it's to do with that, which I'm going to turn off for right now, because I didn't like that at all. Now, I'm also aware that they recently added some old, uh, old tracks to the game, which I don't think I actually have, which is a big... Um, a big pain in the bum. Obviously, there's some add-in stuff in here as well. Uh, but I'm just going to find a quick match because I don't actually think I'll find any games. Time for me is currently 11 a.m. in the UK. So I guess all of America is hitting some, some fat Zs right now. And then Europe just probably is at work or at school or whatever it may be. So if I do get in a lobby with anyone else, I'll be very, very shocked and surprised. If not, I'll just load up some single player. Do a few single player races, maybe an outdoors, do an indoors as well. And no, see, I'm, I'm by myself here. And it's thrown me onto some 
Is it straight rhythm? Is this straight rhythm? Okay. I I don't think I've done any straight rhythm stuff since I was doing the career mode. And even then, I don't think I actually done it on a motorbike. You can see how oh, you can see how stiff this bike is to try and try and get scrubbed or get whipped. So we're not gonna be getting too steezy. We're gonna be quite stiff gamers today. But like, you can you can move the bike around but in the air, fairly okay. Quite like this this space overall as well. Like lots of different straight rhythms next to each other. Getting very, very muddy. Yeah, I don't like how it's just throwing me into wet conditions straight away. But it's so far so good. This is a lot better than what it uh, it used to be, at least in my, my memory. And just refreshing my memory now, I know there's nothing they can really do about it at this point because it's so deep into this game's lifespan. I remember the one thing that I wasn't a fan of with the career mode in this game is as you scroll down here, you can see, so we've got Supercross series here. We've got three races for Supercross. I then have to go through all of this trail riding. I then have a little bit of outdoors to be fair, but it's all amateur racing. So I don't think the uh, the tracks are too difficult. I've then got more outdoor stuff there. I've then got more, I guess, Bahari type stuff. I've then got more tra trailish slash weird outdoor looking tracks. I've then got even more outdoor looking tracks. And that's a hell of a lot of races from here all the way through to be able to do a little bit more supercross again. So it's definitely a long, long grind is the only downside, I would say. I mean, look how, look, look how much this is. This is all just the motocross bit only. We've then got all the ATV stuff as well, which is all this. Uh, oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. This is saying continue. Uh, I, okay. I, I feel like you have to do all of them in amongst each other. No, you have to kind of combine them. You can only do one set if you've done another set and so on and so forth. There's a lot. There's a hell of a lot. So uh, I'm just going to do a single race. I'm going to go. I'm not going to go to online. I'm going to go to exhibition. That's the word I was looking for. I'm going to go to quick play. I am going to go probably against my best judgment to Supercross. And you can see down here, there's like a whole bunch of tracks that I haven't either haven't unlocked yet or that you have to pay for. I'm guessing maybe. Like, can I play this? DLC. There's a lot of stuff that you buy for this game, which I'm I'm not going to be doing. So I'm still going to do the free stuff. I don't know if this was always the case. I like how you can choose your deformation now. You can choose how much you want it. I'm going to max it out for the memes. We'll max it out to 15 bots, which I would still like a game if there's any chance of these games in the future. I'm not sure if it's due to limitations on the console side of things. It'd be nice to have a realistic number of players to race against. Like, so in Supercross, if I can race against 21 other people, the 22nd being myself, that would be very, very nice. Uh, choose the laps and choose the difficulty. I'm just going to keep it on medium for now because I'm probably going to crash a hell of a lot and I completely forgot the i've got i think five or so i can't even remember that it's like world world tour supercross tracks um that they gave me for free quite a while back when i got to make a video on them so i mean shout out shout out the legends team thank you very much for that so um, i'm gonna give one of these tracks a go because it's got a bit of a combination it's got sand over on the far left we've got the supercross track on the right hand side here and let's see how this goes i mean right clutch is left bumper I'm gonna lean forwards out the gate and drop i am running which a lot of you will probably mind at me for. I am running automatic shifting. I just, I want less things for my brain to be thinking about right now whilst I'm trying to focus on actually surviving and getting around the track. Um, cut. Please turn. Can't lie. Medium seems a little bit too easy already after three corners deep, but we'll see. It depends how many times I crash really, doesn't it? So, oh, it just feels a bit... The gearing's not helping, to be fair. It did have me in fifth gear there. It just feels quite stiff still like, there's not much movement in the air for the bike at all and i get the whole upgrade system i do but do you need to go and spend all of that in-game currency just to make your bike be able to turn a little bit and be able to just move in the air a little bit because i'm really like, i'm jamming the sticks here in the air when it comes to like leaning forwards and trying to drop the front end i'm moving both sticks all the way forwards i'm holding the rear brake and look how look how stiff it is like i can't I can't dip the front end if I wanted to. So it's just still a bit stiff. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Okay. It is so bad to the point where I am taking transmission off of automatic because I'm coming out of corners and it's putting me in like fourth gear and I'm barely moving. So uh, shift up, right stick, shift down, left stick. I can certainly do that. And let's see if this helps anything at all because it's not... It's 
not pleasant right now, I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, turning's okay, it just seems like you have to like really just jam jam on the brakes, pop a UE and then go again. It seems like quite point and point and accelerate. Um, you can't really be like smooth around the bowl turn if that makes sense and carry a whole bunch of speed following it the whole way around. Um, but yeah, the gearing was doing me absolutely dirty. Like it'd have me in fifth gear. Here we go. Lots more momentum now. Lots more. Even though the crashing is still annoying. These lower gears are helping a hell of a lot compared to the higher gears that it was having me going around the track in. I also noticed it seems to be one of them games where the more things you can manual, the faster you will go. Which seems to be a common, I guess, staple in, in modern or more arcade motocross games. Is if you can get the weight on the back of the bike, it will absorb absolutely everything and you will go so, so, so much faster. Um, I, I get, but the crashes that I'm having, I know I'm landing a little bit sideways. I'm surprised that there could be a way of saving them. That could be what the whole reflex, I guess, gyro stuff was on about. If you remember Animax Mr. ATV reflex back in the day where if you get a bit of a weird landing, you can quickly press a button to, I guess, sort your balance out. I'm not seeing that unless that's a HUD option that I'm I'm missing. But, oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's some moments where I'm like, actually, this isn't too bad. And then it'll go back to being like hella stiff, like trying to turn to the left there. Let's get her up. Can we quad? Can quad. I'm going to shift down in second preemptively. I'm going to keep her in second gear here. Bang the clutch a little bit. Seat bounce this bad boy. So the seat bouncing mechanics feel all right. They don't feel too bad at all. It's just a momentum thing and a stiffness. Like you can see how hard I'm having to muscle the bike in the air to get it to move. I don't really want to have to sit here and grind for hours and hours and hours just to get a bike that actually moves in the air, if you know what I mean. The joker lane's open now as well, so I think if I cut down in this right-hander a bit tighter and we go over to this right-hand side... I mean, that is a cool aspect that I quite like about this, is you have the option to do these joker lanes. Uh, this sand section is just so brutal, though. Like, if you're not perfectly downside and everything, you just get zero momentum behind you. Let's... Come on, turn, please, please, I beg. Please! Oh my god, like... Oh my god, I'm having to, like... Uh, it seems like, what I'm noticing, trail braking everywhere, very, very beneficial. Which is odd, because I'm pretty sure it's also using my front brake as well as my rear brake. <laughs> so I'm kind of holding my front brake around the corners, and it's making me turn really, really tight. It, okay, it is what it is. I'll show you what I mean in this left-hander here. So this is me just turning the sticks normally, and that's me keep tapping the brake. You see how much tight you turn if you're constantly just tapping the brakes the entire time. Whereas I don't feel like I'm going particularly fast normally. The steering input doesn't change at all. It's just with a quick little tap of the brake, it really yanks you to the side. So that seems to be the way of going a little bit faster. So I'll try it again here. Excuse me, Chase. Sorry, buddy. Beep, beep, coming through. And yeah, keeping these lower gears definitely does help. And I'm not going into this trying to be a negative Nelly either. This is just things that I'm noticing. I, I guess I you treat this as like a, a newcomer perspective to the game. So when I think, when it comes to these arcade games, I feel like they should be fairly easy to pick up and everything should be quite nimble and, and smooth around the track. But it seems like you're really having to fight things the entire time to get around right now. There you go, this is what I mean. Like The more you can just get your ass off the back, keep the front wheel in the air, and just tap things with your rear wheel, the faster you can go. But I <coughs> didn't mean to go up into fourth gear, I was meant to be in third, that is a user error. Um, I will say that... I have seen many fast people on this game. I get them appearing on my Instagram feeds or like in Instagram reels from time to time of people sitting hot laps. Uh, so I am well aware that you can go way, way faster than I am going. Again, this is from someone that has a couple of hours maximum on the game since it launched. And this is my first time playing the game in a very, very long time. So it's always going to be rough around the edges. Uh, but what I would like to ask you as well, because I imagine there's probably some people in the comments that are probably frothing at the mouth watching this gameplay. Is there anything very, very obvious that I have missed? It may be in terms of setup or button inputs, etc. on how you ride a bit better. Is it just a case of you do need to grind a fair amount to get that max bike before the game feels okay and not so stiff? Now, I've noticed the bike moves well side to side in the air, does not move well forwards and backwards in the air at all. Like there's no gyro effect at all like by locking up the back wheel for example the front end doesn't dip at all um, but there was a supercross race i'm going to try this outdoors because i feel like it leaves a lot more room for error and hopefully it's not quite as difficult i cannot believe oh these are just locked i was about to say i cannot believe how... there's so many 
Ah, here are all the old ones. Okay, like Grandview. It would have been really nice if we did get some of these for free because these tracks were just the best. They're so, so good. Um, there's a lot of DLC here, which I obviously do not have. A hell of a lot of DLC, like all of the 2023 outdoor tracks, for example. Um, so I guess I am forced to play the 2022 ones. I might do a bit of uh, Loretta Lynn's since it's basically in my name at this point. Um, so we'll give a go. I'll do three laps because it's a bit of a longer track. I will do afternoon, I guess. I thought conditions here, I thought it would say like a rainy, etc. But it doesn't. What I am going to do is I'm going to go to the 250 class. Will it change my bike automatically? It will because I've got a fully upgraded 250 around it somewhere. Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Nope. It's this one. Okay. So it's one of these. Uh, it is the PHX 250F, almost fully upgraded. Very interesting, looks wise. Um, but, you know, looks going to be deceiving. It's all about how she performs. And I don't want to take anything away from how the game looks, because I think it looks very, very pretty. And all of these modern games do, to be honest. So, looks are definitely... Um, oh, that's a poor cell, not poor cell. Looks are definitely one of the strong points. So let's get the revs up, gates down. I'm going to hit the quick shift up into second gear. We'll get our cheeks off the back of the bike excuse me jamie coming through and let's see if this is more of its uh if outdoors is more of its forte yep oh did you see that you can see the speed boost that i get when i uh get off the back of the bike and to be fair thinking about it automatic gearing probably works a hell of a lot better outdoors as well when you've just got more um momentum behind you although the commandments seem hella steep okay shift around to the right here can you see what i mean it's, it's very hard to explain how something feels when you're playing it but it really does feel like i'm detached from the ground i never feel planted anywhere i feel like i'm floating across the top of it always so it's a, it's a very hard feeling to try and convey and i'm hoping that some people that have played it or maybe still do play it kind of can resonate with that and understand where i'm coming from uh, for the console players you probably don't know any different but for someone like myself that comes from i guess some of the more i don't want to say realistic because no motocross game is truly realistic but you know your mx simulators your mx bikes for example the more quote-unquote hardcore games that do take hundreds of hours to learn how to go around properly you definitely feel a lot more in contact with the ground in those games you feel like you're riding the bike this feels like i'm floating above the map and the bumps and my tires will just occasionally get some grip and get some traction and then shoot me the direction that they're facing i will give props to the track builders as well though because both the supercross track and the outdoors track that i'm playing right now they both look really nice and they're built very nicely as well like the way the ruts have been built and the berms uh, the way the masking has been done on track to have the uh, like the ruts and the different textures showing through like they've done a very very good job in that so in terms of like visual aspects of it the height map like the, the terrain itself all really 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 nice the models all around the outside all look very high quality models wise as well and to be fair even like my gear and the bike and that they look good like the models look good the game feels good overall i think it's purely like just the, the core physics which probably just doesn't resonate with me because i'm so used to playing other games and it's not something that i want to sit and dedicate a whole bunch of time to because i don't see it leading anywhere for me like when, when it comes to the other games like play on this channel maybe you're new maybe you're a console gamer and you have no idea who i am um i'm more on the the pc side of things but i compete in those games and that's what's more fun to me i don't think i could see myself competing in in games like this i, I know that tournaments exist uh just just not a not a bit of me really perfect time for for the cheeky little plug though even though you probably already had one at the very beginning of this is uh, the fxr gear looking on point as always the uh, gear that i'm rocking right now in game not not boots or helmet or anything but just just the gear is uh, exactly the same as the gear that i uh, i have in real life so use code mxpr underscore lens 15 at checkout <clears throat> outdoors does definitely feel more intuitive than the supercross side of things i won't lie and one of the biggest things i'm noticing that helps a lot is just the occasional dab of the clutch Almost like the old clutch boost from the MX versus ATV Elias today. It's not, not quite as OP as that, but you know, if you can get the front wheel in the air, so if you're uh, manualing slash wheeling the bike, whichever one you want to refer to it as, and you give the uh, the clutch a little bit of a dab, you get a massive speed boost in whichever direction you're facing. And I think that's the biggest challenge for me right now, is to understand where the tyres are, which way exactly they're facing or sliding, and knowing that I will get a speed boost in that direction. 
It's like your momentum doesn't follow a curve. It's more in, I guess, sharp angles. I did. I don't know how I just done that whip or scrub. It wasn't intentional. I didn't expect it to kind of throw it like it did off the face of that. I think I was just leaning. I just leaned into it a little bit more. That's odd for me to get used to as well. Is obviously in this game you have to lean both sticks the same way that you are turning, not opposite ways. So there's no waiting the outside peg at all. You're leaning into the corner with the bike to help it turn tighter. Oh, I'm so sad. It, if you know me, you know how much I love Enduro. They've got an entire Husky Enduro test track. And I really wanted to like Channel Wayne and Billy Bolt. But it's paid. I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. Um, we've got this default one, which I'm pretty sure I tried when the game first came out. And the amount of random crashes I got was insane. So I'm going to give it a lap or two. I'm going to see how it goes. If it's miserable, I'll end the video there. But there's definitely been some pros and cons to this. I definitely think they've started moving in the right direction. I just feel like things are still quite stiff gameplay wise. But visually, like, really, really good. Shout out my boy Brian DeBoard to my right as well. Um, this is... Oh no, it is an enduro track. Okay, so it's a, it's a very long enduro track. It's a bit of bit of everything by the looks of it. Um, the game looks good. I mean, the UI overall seems to be a massive improvement. Uh, haven't checked it. There was one glitch when I was playing this originally where we didn't have any goggle straps. So I'm I, I'm not going to go back and check that. If that's been fixed, that's cool. Uh, uh, pl pl please. There we. Go. Please get up the hill. There we go. Oh god, this is painful. Like, so hills like this, for example, I'm leaning forwards as much as I possibly can up this, and I just I cannot get the front wheel to like stay down or get any sort of, I guess, meaningful acceleration up it. And that's the sort of, I guess, like fluidity and feeling attached to the groundness. That that's not even a word that I'm after, basically. But I like this. This is cool. This is very unique. I really, really enjoy the layout of this. These boys are having a bit of issue here. They're all waiting for each other. Excuse me. I'm just gonna just do 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 work my way through and to be honest you haven't even got, really got to worry about changing gears and stuff like this you can probably keep it um um it's fine you probably keep it in second gear the entire way if you really wanted to this is cool i'm i'm actually a big fan of this i someone make a track like this in mx bikes please thank you oh we've got a little little tree whoop section do, 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 do. love that down here we go lovely little slalom this is the best that the game's felt for me so far which is <laughs> very very weird to say. Little step up. Oh, go on. I'm him. All right. Someone sign me, please. I'm going pro in uh, MX First ATV Legends. Uh, where do I go this way? Amy, show me the way. Sexy girl. And then we go back onto the Nationals track. This is very good. I didn't. I haven't tried this track before. I realise now. Um, but I had tried what, like a tiny bit of enduro that was just within this main compound itself when the game first released and I'd get all kinds of weird crashes. They've done a great job of fixing a lot of that because that all, over all them logs and everything they felt very very smooth. That was really nice and oddly enough that is the best part that I've had so far in this video um, but y you get the idea. You get the gist of it. I'm not going to sit here and make you suffer for the next three laps of me riding very very m mediocrely. Is that the right word? Probably not. Um, but yeah, that, that'll do it for me today. It's, it's nice to come back to games like this from time to time and just see how they progress. It's definitely progress. It definitely feels better than it did back then. Um, just uh, some more tweaks would be nice. Making the bike a little bit more nimble in the air, having more of a gyroscopic effect when accelerating or, or braking in the air because just nothing's really happening right now. Um, and yeah, good stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new, I would very much appreciate it. And have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you're up to. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I'm working hard. I'm sacrificing my life. I'm sacrificing my mind. I'm sacrificing my sanity. But most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine. I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain. Even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want. I